and welcome to the Jacksonville Recreation and Parks Department. My name is Susan Baptist and this is Nick Broninger here today and we have some fantastic stuff to tell you about our great big Winterfest event coming up on the first weekend of December. It's here again, the it, holiday season. Can you it believe here, it? It's fast approaching and we're excited to offer some uh, new things and some tweaks to our already well, awesome events. So. Absolutely. Well, let's get right to it because we have a lot to cover. So everybody, get your pen and paper out because we want you to jot down or at least our website so you can go and check out all the good stuff because we have a whole weekend jammed pack full of stuff for all ages. Anybody and everybody needs to come out. Don't go out of town. Come, come to the Jacksonville area. Come downtown into the Commons because we've got it covered for you. So let's start with Friday, December 2nd is at the Commons and we are starting off with our Arts and Crafts Festival. So that portion is on Friday and tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we're uh, excited. We have our uh, Holiday Arts and Crafts Show, like you said, starting on Friday night, a little preview party. Um, we did get word that Santa is arriving Friday. That's exciting, okay. Um, special uh, introduction kind of arrival. So we're not sure how he's coming in, sleigh, cool we tank, track trailer, know. limo. We don't know what's going on. So we're okay. excited that he's coming in Friday, kind of to kick us off, kick the whole weekend off. So right. uh, bring your kids out. Friday night. So Friday night at the Commons, Santa is coming and he'll probably get there about 5.30. So you've got time to get home from work, grab your kids so he can, they can come see Santa. You could do some shopping on Friday night. Lots of great art and craft vendors. Everything is handmade and we're proud to work with the uh, Crystal Coast Arts and Crafters Guild. Mm -hmm. So we're real fortunate. There are uh, partners in that and they do a phenomenal job with all of the vendors that come in. So that will go until nine o'clock on Friday. Yep. And then starting on Saturday, we have, boy, do we have a day on Saturday. So we start off first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, uh, the, Art, the Holiday Arts and Crafts Show kicks off at 10 a.m. Um, so you have time to head over there, uh, get some good shopping. All the vendors will be set up, ready to go. Uh, bring your kids. Uh, Christmas just, gifts. Yep. Support the local economy, do some shopping, and, and really get some unique gifts. So that's going to be on Saturday starting at 10 o'clock. Yep. And we do that intentional because at 1 o'clock, we have, um, you know, the, the, the main event downtown. Yep. So we have a lot to cover on that. But let's just, the time is from 1 to 6. 1 to 6 on Saturday at Riverwalk Park. Riverwalk Park, downtown. We will cover our transportation and our shuttle opportunities in just a minute, so we'll get back to you on that. But let's tell everybody, oh my gosh, what, do we, what is there not to do? But I mean, there's so much. So kids' activities will include. All right, Take it so away. we got visit with Santa. Uh, Santa will be arriving also. So we got Santa all weekend for you. So yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we, do. we got you covered. So stop by Santa's workshop, get a picture with him, bring your camera with the kids. Um, after that, we got a little toy workshop. Lowe's is uh, helping us out and donating some wooden crafts Great. so you can tender an elf for the day. Um, then we just start after that going into we got hay rides, pony rides, pet and zoo, our state of the art, the coolest part of the event. And we got our snow sledding. Snow sledding slides. is a big, big, big hit. Yeah. And we know people always support us and come out to that. So. We wanted to give back and try and enhance our opportunity, so we've added more slides. We have doubled the amount of slides this year, so we hope that everybody can get up on those uh, slides and, and enjoy the snow coming down. Double, double the number of slides, so hopefully the lines won't be so bad, because we realize we want to try and get everybody to have a good time and get them through those lines. So we have snow sledding, yep. ice skating is even bigger ice skating, also yep. this year. We've expanded our ice skating rink to also um, we've listened to the feedback and they want lots of more opportunities because we understand that it is a lines will be a little long so we're trying to add to accommodate more at once uh, sure. so we expanded our ice skating rink uh, an extra 20 square feet so we're going to add another five to seven people on top of what we had last Great. year so it's just going to be a nice and huge ice rink for we've added um, to the hayride, so we'll have more hay rides going on as well. So we really want to make sure that you get there and you have time to do all of the great things. So we have games and activities also, yep. so that, that'll be uh, pretty neat for everybody to, to partake in. Tell them about the hayride. I know we're adding a hayride, but we have a special yeah. a special new thing for them there. Yeah, we, uh, we tweaked our hayride route. Um, we moved it towards the end of the park near our 
uh, entertainment stage and we utilize our River Rock Marina downtown that we have right. this year and we're going to use it as a candy shop stop. So as you're in the hayride taking the cool route, we give you a couple minutes to stop at the candy shop, take your kids in, pick up some good treats, get back on the hayride and they'll bring you right back up to the event. So speaking of candy, because we certainly, um, you know, holiday season, we'll, we'll have food vendors. So come hungry and support our local food vendors that will be there. We have a wide variety of people, everything from your funnel cakes and your, um, uh, your hot dogs and your nachos to your healthy folks there. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of everything. So come hungry, we'll have seafood also. Yep, so we have, we have uh, seafood seven, food truck. Seven uh, food vendors that will be there. So like, like you said, we have you covered from anything right. you could think of. From kids to picky eaters to good old fashioned like carnival food. So right. we got you. Okay, so we've got lots of uh, food vendors. We have all of the snow activities covered and we have all of the um, hay rides and pony rides, petting zoo. Uh, the biggest part, which is, which I hopefully are, everybody already knows about all the great things that Nick and his team does, is that it is all free. Free, 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 yep, free. So we want you to really just come down and enjoy it. We're not gonna charge you a dime for any of those uh, activities and rides. If you want some food, then you know there's going to be a cost to that. But I think that's pretty reasonable yep. considering we're going to get you your kids some snow to play with. So moving into the evening, we have a really nice couple of events that we like to cap off the great day with. Yep. And that is starting with great entertainment. Yep. Uh, about 530, we're going to kick off our tree lighting ceremony. Um, New River Harmony Barber Shop Chorus is going to come out and do some acapella renditions of just holiday songs that we all grew up listening to um, and then we're going to have the mayor's going to come down mayor and mayor phillips is going to uh, come down and he's got the big honor of flipping the switch for the great big 25 foot tree yep, we're, we're excited we've increased our tree height like you said to 25 feet and uh, he's going to flip the switch and just light the tree and that's, that's going to it. signal the end of ours but then it's going to kind of kick into our um, partner kind of the breakfast rotary club's flotilla they start passing by probably about 6.30. You can catch a seat down at the end of uh, LP Willingham Park. Yeah, absolutely. Or um, at, by the USO and the new Jacksonville's Lane, and there's what a good a opportunity day. to catch them. So we have all of the games and activities. You start off at the Commons, and then you go shopping, and then you come downtown, and you enjoy all of the activities. See Santa, go sledding, go ice skating. Uh, go for a hayride, <laughs> go uh, pet some uh, pet some neat animals. You're going to get a nice lineup of entertainment. We have schools and yep. courses and all sorts of stuff happening throughout the day. So we're going to get you into the spirit. We're going to light the tree for the city, which we're honored to be able to do. That is the tree for the city, and it sits on the on the water there. It's going to be a be beautiful backdrop, and then a flotilla. I mean, what a great way to honor our beautiful city with boats that are going to be lit up and festive on the water. Yeah. I mean, what a fantastic day. And we're not done. Nope. So you're going to be worn out, but you're going to have a good night's sleep because you want to go back to the commons and think about, you know, I didn't quite get this one gift mm -hmm. or this one really neat thing because we can go back to the commons. So tell them about Sunday yeah. and the neat stuff. Sunday's a great, it's kind of their kids day of the, right. of the weekend for the arts and craft show. Um, so they can come up, there's some kids' workshops, uh, making the cookies, and uh, their chance to go shopping for mom and dad, so yes. it's a good chance for them to get some good, like you said, uh, homemade, uh, handmade crafts, and then we have our gingerbread contest. Gingerbread contest, yeah. last year was our first year, and this is our second, and we are so excited. We've yeah. already gotten lots of feedback, and the buzz has started. So. If if you're seeing this and you have time, we want you to make and enter our uh, gingerbread contest because come uh, on that 3rd, December 4th, I'm yep. sorry, that mm -hmm. Sunday, we are going to accept all day Saturday all the gingerbreads yep. and then come out that afternoon and we're going to judge them and have some nice prizes for all the hard work and effort that, that the participants are going to do. So we also have that and then we also have Santa, you mentioned he was going to yes, be back. Yes. Tell him about the neat opportunity the, on that one, which Santa, is completely new this year. Yep, Santa, like we said, he's there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so we got all opportunities for uh, parents to bring their kids and, and pets. And That's pets. That's right, pets. So this is a new one for you. We don't want to leave out our furry friends. We love our furry friends and our four-legged folks that keep us happy all throughout the year. So we wanted to honor them on Sunday. So you've 
been able to get a picture with Santa on Friday and Saturday. Well, Sunday, come bring your bring bring your four-legged best friend out and get a picture with Santa. They're going to be there. It's a fun um, opportunity for you to bring them, and they're going to take the picture for you. And it's a charity event for a um, animal rescue. So we feel important to give back to the community mm -hmm. and and let them do that. So it's going to be a really neat yeah. opportunity. So Santa is back on Sunday and and he's there for our four-legged friends. Yep. So we're excited about that. So let's see, we have lots going on all over the place. Let's go back to um, our transportation. We're going to be able to do something new this year. So people can be as stress-free yep. on the weekend of um, December 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Stress-free because we want them to park on Saturday, mm -hmm. park at the Commons, Yep. and the shuttle can take you from the Commons downtown. Downtown back to the Commons, right? Yep, so once you go to the arts and crafts show, get your shopping, and don't feel like driving down trying to find a park spot near the event, right. jump on the shuttle right there and they'll take you right down to the river walk. And then once you're done, come back, jump on that shuttle, they'll bring you right back up to the sure. commons. It's so easy, it's easy. such an easy route. Honestly, you just, it's, it, it's six minutes. So it's such a, it's gonna be such a nice stop to just go ahead and park at the commons, ride down there. If you don't wanna do that, we will be running shuttles throughout the downtown area. You can certainly go to our website, but I think there's other parking lots in the area that are going to have shuttles running to, yeah. the, to the Riverwalk Park itself. But we'll also be running one from the Commons to the Riverwalk Park. So we're really excited to let people mm -hmm. just relax and have a great day. Yeah, we got you covered every day all weekend. So I'm mean, just going to make sure your kids have fun, you have fun, and we're going to make sure they get worn out. Worn out yep. and you're not going to break the bank because it's not going to cost anything for you to enjoy the festival and everything that you want to do down there. Support our local economy by shopping at the vendors and all their fabulous talents and gifts that they're going to provide for us and um, it's going to be a great weekend. I'm excited. I'm ready. It's only, it's less than four weeks I away know. so we're, we're plugging we're away. We're ready to go. This crew's been working year round so as soon as it was done last year they've been already working and they're working hard. Santa's workshop is is going to town making sure this event is mm -hmm. going to look and feel as festive as possible to kick us off on the right foot for the holiday season. Yep. So, Can you think of anything else other than telling them about our website? No, yeah. Um, JacksonvilleWinterfest.com yep. um, and then go to our uh, Recreation and Parks Facebook page. We'll have posts and updates Absolutely. from now to then. So if you forget what's going on what day and where, just check us out online and make sure you get covered. So Facebook, website, or call us. Uh, we'll have all of that running here on the screen. So uh, I can't think of anything else other than come on out, enjoy it, and, and spend some good quality time with your family. Tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell everybody just mark your calendars and come on out. So it's going to be a great time, and we are proud and honored to be able to provide it to our citizens. So please um, stop by and see us. We'd love to see you.